This is the Indian sitar. I got into sitar from my dad who had sitars around the house when I was a kid. Um, he used to play sitar and other Indian instruments. It has two main strings that you play with your fingers, these two here, and then it has four more which are called chikari, which are just drone. I do that. And then down here there's these strings that are called sympathetic strings. And when I hit a note, it rings just sympathetically because the vibrations make it vibrate. So those are all down there, yeah. And you have to tune every single one to whatever rog or scale that you're playing in. So I have uh, two of these back home. They're not very good instruments. They're what are called student quality instruments. But this one is actually my professor's. I'm borrowing it from him. He got some work done on it, and so it needs to be played to open up. It's, it's called Jawari, and you play it to get the sound more open. So he's helping me by letting me play his instrument, and I'm helping him by making it sound as it's supposed to. I came here as an undeclared humanities North Campus, but quickly, like after just looking at the course schedule over summer orientation, I decided I was going to take all ethnomusicology cl uh, classes, and I'm really thankful to be in it. I want to be an instrument builder and repair person, do museum curation and research instrument traditions, document the ones that are sort of endangered, I would call them. There's a lot of traditional instrument building techniques that aren't going to be around much longer. I'm planning to advertise this festival that we're having this Saturday. Um, it's called the World Music and Movement Festival. That's this Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. in Bruin Plaza. It's a space in which all of the students and faculty who play music traditions that aren't normally performed in campus shows, like we have spring sing, we have jazz reggae, but how often do you get to see traditional Indian dancers or anything like that? So we're trying to do two a year to give everyone the opportunity to see, uh, to listen, and to actually play their own traditions and music that they love.